Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. It's been a while since I posted a video. Um, I'm here to share with you all a, a haul. Um, this is not a crafty haul. This is more of um, it's a faith-based haul. So um, I purchased some happy planners um, uh, for the hopefully to start um, next year um, to use uh, for 2023. Three. I can't believe we're already in 23. And then um, I purchased some stickers, some more <laughs> faith-based stickers. I'm like going crazy with the faith-based. And also, um, so I have a haul from Joanne's, from Hobby Lobby, uh, something that I purchased at Target, and um, also from the Daily Grace Co. and uh, ChristianBooks.com. And what else? Uh, that's it. So let me go ahead and get started. So um, this is what I got from Hobby Lobby. They have their a sale this, I think it's this week. Yeah, this week. So it ends tomorrow. Their happy planners, um, their, um, and their Hobby Lobby's brand, I think it's Studio 52, is 40% off this week, including stickers and stuff. So um, I went ahead and I picked up these items. So, oh, did I say? Joann's. I think I got a haul from Joann as well. Okay, and um, and from the Happy Planner Company. <laughs> so, okay, so this is what I got from um, Happy Lobby. So, I picked up this Snap-in stickers. There's 12 sheets, and so what it is is they're like little pockets, and you put your stickers inside. So, I just wanted to keep um, a couple of them in my Happy Planner, in each one that I'm, I'm planning on using. Um, to keep some stickers and stuff in case if I go on retreats or something and I take my my um, my little planners and if I want to decorate or you know inspired to do a Bible study and add some stickers, I, I have it already on hand. So I picked up these. These were 40% off. Um, I also picked up the Studio 52, the Agenda 52. Um, and these are the numbers and days and they're foiled. There's 30 sheets and these were $8.99. They're very pretty. A lot of them are foiled and others are not. So um, these are the designs that they have. So they have, you know, numbers, um, they, the numbers, they have the days of the week, and they're just pretty stickers. I flipped through them really quick, and um, and I liked it because I have some old hap, um, old inserts from Happy Planners and um, that I have not used, so I would like to use those up as well. And at least I could replace the, the dates and, and all that stuff with that. Then um, I saw these. Uh, this is the Seasons of Color. Very beautiful. I love florals. Now, I don't, I use florals not only in my ha in the Happy Planner, but I also use it in my personal journaling when I do Bible studies. Or, um, yeah, mostly when I do Bible studies, I like to decorate my uh, pages with stickers and um, so yeah so I use this uh, floral stickers a lot in my own personal uh, Bible journal Bible study journaling so the seasons it's got beautiful um, beautiful uh, designs I, mean, I don't want I don't want to do a flip through if you guys want to flip through let me know which ones and I'll do a separate video for that but I feel like this is going to be a long video as it is <laughs> with everything that I purchased um, you know it's collectively not one day this is collectively so, um, yeah, so here are the designs. They're really pretty. And um, they do have some Halloween. I think they had Halloween in here. And I'm not, I'm not fond of Halloween at all. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so um, I don't remember if they had, uh, if they had, like, um, creepy looking things in here. I don't think they did. If I remember correctly, I don't think they did. So anyway, so these are very pretty. Then um, I purchased this one. This is the Faith sticker. And this goes very well with an older planner that I used to use. Um, it was a war binder. It was a prayer journal that I had. And it goes very well with that. <coughs> Excuse me. So just by because of the design. And they actually had this promise design in the top. And that was my 2020, my 2021, actually. It was my 2021 uh, war binder. So, um, so yeah, so I got this, and they got all these designs here. And I love these church stickers. I love the praying hands. That is so beautiful because you're this, 
the praying hands is a, with the little heart just like you're you're you know you're giving your hearts to god and and i just love the praying hands that's one of my favorite stickers so so yes i picked up this one i have my collection grew in this past few months of faith-based stickers and uh, yeah i have no business on buying more but then i got the marble one and this goes very well with this planner um this is the marble and it says uh worthy what my work is found in christ this is my bible study um happy planner uh yeah my bible study one so and it's bible studies and sermons is what i keep in here so already so here um are the designs it goes very well with that with that uh planner so these are very beautiful i love the marble effects and then um i purchased extender uh, rings these are plastic I, I know many people prefer the metal ones and they don't like the plastic but honestly I feel like the plastic the paper is more smoother um, with um, when I flip the pages than with the metal I have metal also um, and I only have one that I purchased that are metal and these are the metal extender bands this is my prayer uh, binder um, this is where I keep all my prayers. I might, for the year 2023, I might change, switch some, some inserts up, but I, I love this cover right here. So this is what I'm going to keep for next year as well. And this cover, um, I purchased from Michelle and she's Michelle Plans here on YouTube. Hey, Michelle. So I'm not sure if she still has any more of these. Um, if I do find it, I will link it down below. If not, I will link her channel down below. She's also a fellow believer and um so so yeah and then here is um these are the the metal ones and it's kind of difficult to maneuver so um so yeah so i, I think that i prefer honestly my opinion <laughs> i like the plastic ones instead and then um i purchased some glitter um washi tape i had a brain fart for a moment um, I've purchased this um, also these were not on sale so I did pay full price for it because I don't I'm not into ha I'm Hobby Lobby as often so I figured I'm you know the price is not bad it's $5.99 yeah it's kind of but um, you know what I don't know when I'm going to go back again so I just went ahead and picked it up and then I got these colors also I love to use this in my sermon notes um, page and I'm going to show you how I use them in my sermon notes page so here is my bible study uh sermon uh, sermon notes so um let me go ahead and show this is how i use the stickers you know for my um this is for the month of um october and then i already prepped for november so this is how i'm using for november so this is from a different pack in which i did not do a haul video for that um if you're interested, let me know, and I'll do a haul video. This is from a, a YouTuber, a fellow YouTuber that designs her own stickers and publishes them, and then we, we get to buy them, and they're really nice. So, okay, so here is how I used my um, my sermon notes. I still have to, I'm so behind. I have to finish this, and I also have to start on this. This is my last week's um, sermon. And this was about meditation. It's an it's an uh, nine week challenge that they're doing through my church. This was our second week challenge and our first week challenge. Here's our first week challenge. So the first week challenge I did finish. <laughs> I fin I need to finish my second and my third. But this is how I use um the sticker the washi tape. That's how I want to use it. This was actually um headers like little headers, uh, glitter head headers from um from an old kit that i had and then um and this was part of the kit as well the, these were part of the kit so i went ahead and i used the headers instead to create this border around this is the big idea uh what the sermon was about and then um here um i actually used washi tape that i had on hand and i completely ran out i need to see if i could find this type of color uh, it's like a pumpkin color I don't have that the most closest one I would have is this peach one but um yeah that and then for this was for um last week's so that's how you know I use that's how I like to outline my 
my big idea. So <clears throat> that's what I want to do. That's why I purchased these washi tapes. And then the last thing, oh no, I got one more thing. I purchased this little, um, <clears throat> these little scoops in their jewelry section. This is like for resin, you know, to pick up the little glitter from resin. I thought this would be, this would, um, to use it for my sequence when I want to pick up, you know, sequence and stuff. So I picked up a pack of this. And then they have their, um, Home decor stuff 50% off and I saw this and I loved it. So it says, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love for I have put my trust in you. Psalms 143.8. So I really love this. So I picked this up to put in my, um, in my craft room. So yeah, so that's my haul from Hobby Lobby. And then uh, from Joann's I purchased uh, online. They had their happy planners on sale and um I purchased um, this one. This is the Faith, and this is a guided happy planner. I've seen so many people use the guided happy planner, and for me, when I do my prayers, I like to, um, I've heard or I've seen that a lot of people prefer, even my own, um, one of my, uh, one of the sisters from my church is mentoring me. So she's like um, an older Titus woman. You know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's, um, if you read the book of Titus, it tells you examples of how you need, how to behave as fellow believers and stuff. So that was my prayer to, you know, have an older Titus woman to mentor me um, in the faith. So um, that's her. <laughs> so she told me, she says, write down your, write down your prayers, journal, journal, journal your prayers and stuff. And I'm like, I never done that. It's so hard for me. I don't, I don't know what to say. And so I thought this would, this will help me a lot um, and try it out. It's a guided, happy, uh, guided faith journal. And um, it gives you our samples on how to, uh, let me go ahead and share with you. And um, there. Just ripped it up. Okay. Um, it's so I love the color. It's so beautiful. And I just hope that soon Happy Planner will stop adding those little sticky dots because they get stuck on the on the covers and sometimes they're so hard to get out. But um, and they they have these dividers. They're very pretty. They don't have um, headings on it. But that, that's amazing because at least I could replace it. You know, I could put headings. So here it tells you practicing spiritual discipline, scripture reading, prayer, worship, scripture meditation, fellowship, serving. And it just gives you all these things that you could practice on. Um, and then here it tells you this week I will focus on this discipline. And this is perfect. Like, for example, um, that we are doing the, uh, for the next um, six more weeks because we're already on week three. For the next six more weeks, I could practice on whatever the challenge is that we're having at church. It's a discipleship. They're very into discipling um, believers, you know, and that's what I love about this church. It's a uh, Bible believing, and it, they when they have their sermons, they go through each and every verse, you know, a section of verses, and their their sermon is based on that, and they go through each and every verse, and that's what I love about this church. So if you know if you're looking for a church, look for a church that is a Bible reading, Bible believing church. Um, that also it's important for you to uh, study on your own the word as well. So then so you could read it in context because there is some preachers that I have seen that take all the scriptures out of context. And what I mean is that they just read one verse. Out of one verse, they make this big sermon, and that's not the, that's not how it works. <laughs> you have to read the fused for a fused up uh, fused the first few verses before that verse, and then the few verses afterwards to get the context of what um, scripture is about. So it's very important. I just thought I would share that. So and then here it says daily action tracker. I'm not sure if I would use um, a, the tracker because I just I, I don't want to put a check mark, you know. Um, I just don't know about that. But um, I might put like stickers here, washi tape, and then put stickers, whatever. And then um, here it says memory verse to hide in my heart, and I just love it because in Psalms there's a scripture, and I just love it that says, um, "I have your word written in my 
I have your word hidden in my heart so that I may not sin against you. And that's in the book of Psalms. And I just love that verse. In fact, I actually have it memorized. It's one of my favorite verses. And that's part of my prayer too. So, um, so yeah, I, this is awesome that they have this. And I could just practice on memorizing those verses. And then here's a scripture that I'm reading today. Today's prayer. I am seeing God's hands in. Today I'm finding hope in what is one simple joy I experienced today and then list three uh, blessings today. And this is awesome because this is something I could do in the evening before I go to bed. You know, I could do my morning prayer and devotion and then before going to bed, I could read a chapter of a book and then I could, uh, you pick um, one of my favorite verses out of that one uh, chapter from that book that really stood out to me and I could just write it here and then pray about it as well and write it here, you know, and communicate what I learned to God. So, um, so yeah, this is amazing. So I'm, um, I don't know why it took me so long to, um, pick this up, but, um, and then here's the difference is, uh, it's got the same two, um, guided, guided, uh, prompts. And then here says, who can I encourage today? Today I'm rejoicing in this truth. Praising him for the simple gift I'm so grateful for. And um, I'm not sure if it repeats or if it's not. There's, um, okay, it's different. This one is, I need extra help in this area. Today, I will find an opportunity to serve. What is one answered prayer I'm seeing in my life? I have so many answered prayers that I have seen in my life, and I write those down. So this is something that I can look into, look back on. A few um, a few months down and then I can remember oh yes the Lord answered me on this and I could thank them and praise them for that answer and then here it says I'm learning to be patient with I think we all need patience especially at this time of year <laughs> this uh, in this time um, that we're going through right now there is so many people that do not have patience whatsoever you can find it when you're driving down the road waiting in line at the grocery store and that's something that I asked for um, since the beginning of my walk and let me tell you I even told a friend I says I don't know what's going on I'm asking for patience and I feel like things are happening that's testing my patience and I was told well that's what's happening <laughs> you're asking for patience and that's how the Lord is molding you and helping you and yeah be careful what you pray for because <laughs> it not be it might not be the answer that you were looking for so I've learned that already, and I find it hilarious, but I find it so humbling and so amazing on how God is. So and then here it says, today I'm feeling blessed by praising him for this simple truth and three people that I need that need a little encouragement. And then uh, and then it repeats itself. So then you get so you get four pages of different guided uh, journaling prompts, and then it repeats for itself. And so it says here that you get eighty pages. Um, there's 80 sheets, so I'm not sure if, um, I haven't counted, it might be 40 sheets, <clears throat> and then, you know, double-sided, so this is what I picked up, and this one, these are notes, so I'm, um, it's, this one says, faith, hope, love, I love the cover, I love the color of the discs, so I pick up these happy notes because uh, you could get them on sale, um, and you get more sheets than the packs, and, and you could reuse the covers. So uh, this is, I think this is dotted, or are these lined? It's dotted and lined papers. Whoop, you saw me. So it's dotted and lined papers, and you get 60 sheets, and you also get dividers. Uh, and this one actually goes with a planner that I just picked up. Let me take this out. Um, I love this dividers. This one, oh my gosh, this is so pretty because, and I didn't realize it went with it. Or maybe I did, I don't remember. Um, but look at this cover. I mean, if you don't want to use this cover, you could use this side because they're both the same. It's so beautiful. And then you could just add a sticker here if you want. And so um, look at the dividers. This goes so well with the stay strong, with the be strong in the Lord um happy planner so i'll show you i i picked that up but look at these dividers you could just use them and then here's the lined paper um so you get three dividers this is one of my favorite favorite images and then um these are 
dotted lines. So they're dotted lines. And then um, this one. It says, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all yet than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. This is all based on the current first Corinthians um sixteen ten. The the Corinthians, the book of Corinthians is a very interesting book to read. Um there's two uh two books of Corinthians. So yeah, so this is what I picked up from Joanne's. And then here is what I picked up from the Happy Planner Company. Um I picked up some stickers from there too along with this, but I started using them and I just put them away. Uh, so this is an 18 month planner. It starts from July 22nd, uh, 2022 through December 2023. So I'm thinking I'm going to start using this in January of 2023 and I'm just going to take out these older, um, older inserts and just put them away. So I, this is very beautiful. Um, it says, be still. I could put my name here. Um, I could probably put my goals here. And then um, if I'm doing any scripture writing plans, I could write that there. Uh, so here is one of the. And I really like this because here it says prayers, important dates, recognizing God's hands in, remember, remembering simple blessings, um, set set a faithful field intention so i'm not sure if i'm actually going to use these prompts here because since i have already the, the journaling um planner um i just might use this for my sermon notes and i'll um so i'll just probably cover this with washi and um or white it out or something and just use this for my sermon notes so i'm going to see how i can do that and then so yeah so these i'm just going to share with you the dividers and I'm not fond of this type of um, planning of, um, you know, this is scripture, observation, application. But uh, like I have in this planner, uh, I did buy a digital um, dashboard, Happy Planner dashboard. So um, I'm thinking that here, this is from lab earlier this year. So I did get a, uh, this is like an older one. So I might probably use these for my prayers and just change the dates on them. So I'm not printing, use wasting paper and ink for my end. So um, I'll probably just cover these dates, uh, these the days, and then um, use this for my prayers. So I could probably put here the keywords of the scripture and then my observation and then how I go apply it to practice it in my life and then insert this because it's got the whole week which is um, you know the whole box is a dashboard layout and use this uh, for my prayers because I like to do the soap method the scripture observation application but there's no room for prayer so then I could use these inserts up and attach it to the middle and put my prayers um, I mean, let's, if you guys are interested, I could show you uh, what what it means. <laughs> so yeah, so um, here's another dashboard. Glory to God. Um, it's really beautiful. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Amen. Um, and then here's this one. Let all you do be done in love. Yes. And then this one. This is the day which the Lord hath made, and I thank Him every day for that. Um, here's another one that says, be still beautiful. I love this, um, this divider. And then, um, and then let's see, here's January it says, uh, and we know that all things work together for good. Romans 8, 28. See, I'm 24 minutes in already. I knew it was going to be a chatty video. So then here's all things are possible to him. Who believes? Mark 9.23. And March, be strong in the Lord, which is the same um, as the cover. I might need extend your videos. I'm going to I mean, extend your videos. I might need extend your discs, but we'll see. I'm going to work. I'm going to take these out and um, put keep like three months at a time, just so it's not so full. And then, uh, let's see. Here's May. For by grace are ye 
<clears throat> for by grace are ye saved through faith and that net of yourselves it is the gift of god amen i know this is the king james version and i'm used to the the christian standard bible version so um then here's thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a and a Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a lamp unto my path. And this is Psalms 119.105. I love, that's one of my favorites. This is another favorite verse of mine. And Psalms 119 happens to be one of my favorite uh, um, chapter in Psalms. The whole, the whole Psalm. It's the longest, it's the longest chapter in the Bible. But it's my favorite because there's so much wisdom and there's so much just in that in chapter 119 alone in the book of Psalms. And then um, here it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn, on, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. And then here's August. It's another beautiful image in the beginning God created, Genesis 1-1, the beautiful book of creation that speaks of creation. And then September, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Psalms 34-4, it's another beautiful verse. And here's October, it says faith, November, have faith, and it looks like the sea. This is, I don't know, it just looks like the sea. If it, if, they, if this would have been blue, it would have been the sea. It's still beautiful. And then here it says, And he said unto me, My strength is sufficient for, for thee, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. And this is um, 2 Corinthians 12, 19. If I remember correctly, I think this is about Paul. He's talking to the, to the, the church of Corinth. And he has a thorn on his side, and he is pleading with the God, pleading with the Lord. Three times he pleaded with the Lord to remove a thorn from his side, and the Lord said no. He said, and he said unto me, My strength is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect. And the only reason why the Lord did not remove that thorn out of his side is because Paul was a prideful man. So to keep him humble, um, the thorn was, we don't know what thorn is. What the thorn was, we just don't know, but that's how he described his affliction as a thorn on his side. So that's why it's important to always read what it means, um, the context of, of, you know, of God's word. And then um, here is a prayer and promises. It's be really beautiful. So, um, so yeah. Okay. Then, Target, I purchased this thing. This is an organizer. I love it. It's pink. And it's got 24 pockets, and this is what I'm going to use to hold all of my extra inserts and dividers and stuff that I'm not going to use, and covers. I'm just going to keep it all in here organized so I don't have all these books stacked up somewhere. Um, Alrighty, so now this is what I purchased from ChristianBook.com. Um, someone shared this on um, Instagram on how they do their Bible study. And they use this. It's the New Inductive Study Bible. It's the English Standard Version. I love this version. This version is closest to the um, uh, is closest to the King James Version, word by word, um, from the original uh, translation. Oh, I got one of my pages. Oh, I got wrinkled. Um, and I like this. I love this Bible because I was looking through it when I received it, and it has a chart. Um, it also uh, tells you how to get started, how to, it tells, gives, lets you know on how you can apply scripture. Um, here says application, discover how it works, and you can just read this, and it lets you know. Uh, inductive, um, it gives you little little things that you can do, like um, every everything that mentions any book or verse that mentions God, you put a little triangle on it. I don't do that. Um, I highlight. I have a color code. So for me, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, I highlighted blue. Um, that's how I do mine. And then anything that's condemnation, um, sin, plumb line, conviction, I highlighted purple as a warning. Um, if you're following, you know, uh, following Christ, beyond, 
if they're showing you how how to be a Christ follower, what you need to do, I highlighted or um, peach. And pink is for me. Pink is um, dates, um, time, uh, uh, people, names of people, names of places. I highlighted pink. So that that's how I do my study. And then. Um, so yeah, so this is just a sample of how to do it. And also what I saw is here, it's got um, the cross references that you can use. Um, and then um, it has charts. It has no study notes, but it lets you know. And here it gives you more charts. Um, there was something here, but look at this is new to me. I didn't, I didn't realize that it has this. It has pictures of, of, um, of how the temple was, um, this is the basin of bronze, the bronze altar, and things like that. And um, my granddaughter is going to get here soon, so I better hurry up. Okay, and there was something else that I saw. That Oh, here it is. Let me go ahead and move it over here. I marked it. So here it tells you, for example, uh, let's say the book of Romans. At the end of the chapter, it tells you Romans at a glance. It tells you, okay, who's the author? What, when was it written? What was the purpose? What was the keywords that you found? And uh, chapter themes, you know, you could write down the chapter themes as well. Uh, here it says the observation chart uh, about Paul, why he wrote to the Romans and about the recipients, you know, and Adam according to the flesh and Christ according to the spirit. So you do comparisons. Um, and it's just like giving you... Um, uh, it's like making you really study because it's asking you, okay, so what did you notice here and what's the difference, you know, when we live in Christ and things like that. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, it does give you keywords as well. Here it tells you, um, the, here's like First Corinthians and then it tells you things to do, chapters 1 through 6. It gives you an explanation of what to do on chapters 1 through 6. Um then you know what to do chapter 7 through 16 things to think about it asks you questions that you should reflect on and then i believe somewhere here it tells you the keywords as well what keywords to look and it's awesome because also if you want to do a word study you could use the keywords to do a word study um so here it says observation chart description of the corinthians commands to the corinthians warnings to the corinthians and then here's uh, 1 Corinthians at a glance. And then here's 2 Corinthians. Um, I know I've seen it somewhere. Um, it gave you keywords, but I don't see it here. Let me see. Okay, here's the keywords. So some of them have keywords and some of them don't. So here 2 Corinthians does have keywords. And it tells you comfort, afflicted, sorrowful, boast, confidence, bold, commending, death, life, love, heart, joy, Covenant, Ministry of, Ministry, Grace, Titus, Weak, Mark Emphasis. So it gives you keywords that you can use also. So I really like it. Um, it's really pretty. I, I love the color as well. You know, I'm not a fan of green, but this is very pretty. And um, so, yeah, so I that's why I picked this up to help me with, you know, go deeper um, in God's Word. And then here is, in the Word, this is from the Daily Grace Company. Um, I love their website. I've gotten a lot of uh, studies resources from them. So here's a journal for deeper Bible study. Um, it comes with a packet and um, it just gives you questions. You know, it says passage to study. Here's commentary. How does the context or historical little, you know, it gives you little prompts and then you can write your notes. And there is one channel that um, shared this and she was studying the book of Revelation. Revelation she had studied the book of Revelation. So here she was putting down like the seven bowls, the seven seals, uh, letters to the seven churches. And right now I am studying the book of Revelation um, through our small group in church. So um, it is very, very good. I love it. Don't be intimidated. There are seven of the attitudes or the seven blessings when you that is in the book of Revelation when you study it and you read it out loud even towards others. Uh, there's blessings promised in the book of Revelation. So it's really a beautiful book to read. And so, yes, yeah, so I'm excited about this. Then I purchased um, this one, Search the Word, Knowing and Loving God, God Through Intentional Bible Study. It's like a gold foil, so I 
I'm getting a reflection from the window, so I can't see. So, um, so yeah, so someone was on Instagram is studying this right now. They're doing a group study. So here it gives you the genre of the scripture, like um, the first five books of the Bible and the Old Testament is the law, and then there's a few that's history and wisdom literature, major prophets, minor prophets, gospels, history, epistles, and revelation, which is the prophecy. Um, so you also it's important to know what you're reading, what genre you're reading. Not everything that you see um, is something that is applicable to you. It's just uh, a history of that they're letting you know um, and things like that. So it's I feel like um, most of the stuff, like for example, the Gospels is very important because it brings you um, in the Old Testament. This is Jesus concealed and the new testament is jesus revealed that's how i look at it so um that's something else i knew i found i learned so it's this is really good because it also gives you prompts as you're reading the the word it gives you prompts on what to um what to study so here like it says here understanding literally genre and type and this is really uh good because some i, I thought that everything in the bible from front to back it had to be applicable but no, that's not the case. You need to understand the, the genre of the book. If it's uh, applicable or for you to apply it in your life, day-to-day -day life or not. So this is something good for me to do in my own personal study. And then um, someone on Instagram is going to do a Bible study um, for Advent. It says hope has come and she's using this book. And I said, I will join you. And there's a group of us who's going to be joining and if you're interested let me know um you can send me an email you can find my email in my about page uh, uh in my about about uh chat in my channel <laughs> you just go to my about page which it's like a little sidebar on top and it tells you you know videos and playlists and all that stuff just go click on about and you could get my email from there um so yeah so we're gonna go through this i'm excited this is um advent it's about Jesus, you know, being born and the hope in him, uh, being our savior and things like that. Um, so, so yeah, I can't wait to study this. And I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to write in the book or I might do something creative um, for the study. Then I'm so excited that they have this. There is the Bible theme handbook. Um, they have the, um, they have a few books. I think this is the third one. Um, and this is a theme book. So it tells you um themes of the bible like the abraham covenants the covenant of grace the no noadic covenants um melchizedek um the eternal king and high priest and this is so interesting because melchizedek was the only time that he he was only mentioned once in the bible um jesus is the better adam and i mean i can't wait to go through this um because it gives you a lot of information. Um, it's a tool for when you do your Bible study stuff. So I got this. And then here is the redemption story. I heard this is really good and um, to study. Like if, especially if you are new to the faith. Which I am still semi-new. Um, I'm still learning. There's still a lot for me to learn. And um, I will never stop growing in the knowledge of God. Um that's something that I'm always going to um, be in the process of learning. And I'm so excited about it. So here is the story of redemption. It's um, This is volume one, Genesis through 2 Samuel. This is volume one. This is volume two, Second King, First Kings through Psalms. Volume three, Proverbs through Malachi. And then volume four, Matthew through Revelation. And um, this is all about Jesus. This is all about Jesus, you know, um, about his character, his um, his attributes, who he is, is what, you know, that's what the Bible is all about. It's not about us. You know, it's all about him, the, you know, the love that he has for us and, um, and why he created us and why he created the world and why he came, um, why he came uh, to die for us. He took up our sins so we can live, you know, so we will not have to suffer the punishment, his, you know, God's wrath. 
you know, because of our sins. No, we're, none of us are good. And I'm saying this about myself as well. None of us are good. Nothing can we do will save us. We cannot save ourselves with our own power. We are imperfect. We are sinners. We are wretched. We are uh, broken human beings and in need of a savior. And the only savior, the only way of saving, uh, of, oh my gosh, how was the saying? The only, um, Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Nothing. Religion cannot save you. Religious practices cannot save you. Being a good person cannot save you. Of course, when you accept Jesus as um, your Lord and Savior, when you um, repent of your sins, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that's how you are saved. And because of your gratitude for his saving grace, um, that's when you do, you produce good works. So it's only through faith you are saved. Faith in Jesus Christ is how you are saved. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's a long one. Um, I was just wanted to share with you um, my little, my some of my little purchases. And it's, like I said, it's a collective haul of things that I purchased, purchased throughout the month. So all right, everyone. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.